and welcome back to my channel. How are we all holding up in lockdown two? Three? Three? Three. So you've all read the title, it's another snack crate box unbo unboxing. <laughs> so you've all read the title, it's another snack crate unboxing video and I'm really excited for this one because huge spoiler on the box yet again, just like the India box. And this one I am really, really excited for. So this box has been sitting in my room for the last while and I just hadn't had the chance to open it up. But uh, today's the day, so let's open it up. So this time the label says Konnichiwa, which we all know it's from Japan, and I'm really excited for this one. Before I open it up, make sure you hit subscribe and leave this video a big like. All right, let's have a look inside. And yep, yeah, it's from Japan. The packaging looks a bit different this time. Oh, oh, I like this. The whole information card is actually on the packaging. That's really cool, it uses a lot less paper, so that's good. Japan is home to 110 active volcanoes, of which 47 are closely monitored by scientists every day. That's really cool. First thing I can see in the box is a packet of crisps, which is kind of a common thing to get in the snack boxes. This one looks like it's based off something in Mexico as well, so it's a bit of both. There's a picture of nachos and tacos on it, so we'll see what that's like. Before I even go any further as well, I am horrible at languages and pronunciation, and I'm really sorry if I pronounce any of these things wrong. I can't read Japanese writing at all, so really sorry about that. So these are called Koki Ya Don Tacos. Japanese spin on the Mexican cuisine, these crunchy corn tortilla chips have a unique tangy and savoury flavour, boasting hints of fresh salsa. Ooh, they sound like they have a lot of flavour, I like that. There seems to be a lot more in this box than other boxes, it's like really small stuff, so that's really cool. Next up we have these jellies, so they are Kami Ki... These are Kami Kami Sours, inspired by the delicious Japanese Ramun soda. This hard but chewy gummy candy has a delightfully punchy sourness followed by a fizzy sweetness. A lot of this stuff has a lot of unique flavours combined. It's like sweet but sour but it's fizzy and all sorts combined into one thing. Next up we have, it looks like some kind of dip. It's like little dippy things. Let's see what this is. Let's make it apple candy. This interactive tree has everything you need to create your very own gummy version of the ever popular candied apple. Oh, okay. So by the looks of it, I think these might be marshmallow. And then you dip it in like the little strawberry jam thing. And then on the sprinkles. These two I was really hoping for because they are so popular in Japan and they're known for having so many different flavors of Kit Kat. And sure enough, they got two. Now it doesn't say on the actual packet what flavor they are. So we'll find out. Next up we have these. These kind of look like chewits in a way, high chew, I think that's what they are. High chew grape, known for having the perfect balance of fruitiness, juiciness, and creaminess. This popular item quickly became the best selling candy in Japan. Oh, okay, so it's pretty much like Chew It's. Oh, there's a picture of it. Oh, okay, so I don't know if you can see the picture there, but it kind of looks like, um, it's like a chewy, but it has like two different flavors, so like one in the middle and one coating on the outside. So, uh, that'd be interesting. Last thing in the box then is these three. So these three seem to be the same kind of candy, but they're different flavors. These are called Amiibo, Amiibo. This delicious stick is puffed corn snack with a perfect amount of crunch. Available in many flavors, we've included a few of our favorites for you to try. Okay, so it doesn't exactly say what flavor, but I'm guessing the red is something like strawberry. Uh, the purple is like grape, and I think the green could be anything, because I know there's things like wasabi flavor, matcha flavor, watermelon. So this would be a mystery. So I used my Google Lens phone to find out what flavor Kit Kat these are. And apparently this one is matcha and this one's raspberry. So these ones are gonna be very exciting to try. The other three I'm gonna leave as a surprise for the time being and try and give a guess what flavor they are. All right, what to try first? I think I'm gonna go for the crisps first because I normally do always go for crisps first. It's a nice big bag as well. Oh, wow. There's a lot of flavor in that. You can definitely smell it. Mmm, they smell really nice. So they're like little nacho chips. Wow. Well, that flavor just punches you right in the face. Woo! These are so good. They are really, really nice. You literally put it straight into your mouth and it's just punched up flavor, but it's a mixture of things. It's between spicy and you can taste the salsa. It tastes like nacho cheese and all that kind of stuff. These are really good. Next, I'm gonna try the high chews. So I'm gonna guess they're a lot like uh, chewits. They don't look like chewits, so they're kind of ah. They have like a little 
design. I don't know if you can see. It's like a little anime type design thing on there. I'm not sure what that is, but it's really pretty. So they're more rectangular than Chewitt's, but they definitely look like it. Ooh, okay. So that's what it looks like. I think they said it was it was grape flavor, wasn't it, that they said? Mmm. They're Chewitt's. They definitely have a lot of flavor. You could definitely taste a lot of the grape. Like I said on the label, it's very juicy and creamy at the same time. These are really nice. Yeah, 10 out of 10 for them. They are really good. So I'm going to leave the sour jellies because if you've watched any of my videos before, I'm not a big fan of jellies, so I'm going to give them to someone else to try. So I'll leave them there. But now I'm going to try the candy apple thing. So this one I'm really excited about. I hope I don't spill everything everywhere. No, no. I hope I don't spill everything. Oh, okay, it's all in packets. So these are, they're not marshmallows, but they're like, I don't know, they're like little candies, but they're not marshmallows. I think they're like hard candies. So I changed the camera angle so you can get a better view of this. So you're supposed to put the stick in here. I'm gonna take that off. So pop your stick in here and then dunk it into, the, stay on. Dunk it into the sauce like that. This is really thick sauce as well. Like that. And then you pop it in here to coat it. And that's it, that's how you make it. So this is, po this is possibly one of the messiest things I've ever eaten as well. So let's have a taste. No, I don't know if it's too sweet or it's the jam jelly thing. Mm -mm, don't like that. So next up is going to be the Kit Kats. So really excited for these two. I've never had matcha before, so this will be a first time experience. Raspberry flavor Kit Kat sounds really good. They kind of smell like, do you know when those berry flavor scents candles? Oh, they smell so good. Mmm. On the inside of the Kit Kat has like a little layer of raspberry. So Another way to describe it is say, do you know when you go to an ice cream van and they have the little sauce that drips all over the ice cream or raspberry ripple ice cream even? That's what that tastes like. That's really nice. All right, let's go for the matcha one. It's very green. Doesn't smell the best. They taste weird. There's not that much flavoring off it, but it's not bad. It's not as strong flavoured as the raspberry one, but it's actually not that bad. Alright, time for the last tree then. So we'll find out what flavours these are. I think this is strawberry. And what is that? It's like a tube of just corn snack. It smells like spicy. This reminds me of Monster Munch crisps. This smells really good. It smells spicy. So we'll find out. They taste exactly like Monster Munch. And now for the purple one. Okay. It doesn't smell like Monster Munch. It's definitely something different. Let's find out. It's a lot softer than the other one. It's kind of the same flavor. It's a little bit spicier, but it doesn't have as much kick as the other one. So I'm confused. So the other two I got completely wrong. I thought these were kind of fruity, but they're not. So let's find out what the green one is. Do you know what this one reminds me of? I don't know if you ever had them in your country, but years ago they used to have these crisps called Bear the Big Blue House crisps, and they were the most delicious crisps you could ever find. Even though they were technically for little kids, but they were so nice. That's what this one tastes like. So I just jumped onto Google to have a quick look to see what each flavor is because I was totally wrong. So the red one here is Takoyaki, which is octopus. Okay, <laughs> definitely not fishy flavor. It's actually really nice. I thought it tasted like Monster Munch, which is totally not octopus. All right. So the purple one is Mentai, cod rose seasoned with spicy seasoning. Are these all fish flavor? green one is vegetable salad flavor. I was not expecting those flavors at all. I seen the color, I thought they were fruit. Apparently there's 11 different flavors of Umbayo as well. And there's so many different ones between pizza to 
I guess octopus. So that wraps up another snack crate video. I wanna thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave us a like or a comment down below. Also, if you wanna get your hands on your very own snack crate, I'll leave the link to snack crate down below in the description. I'm not paid or sponsored by them. I just really love receiving snacks from all over the world since we can't travel right now. I'm also on social media. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links are down below in the description. But yeah, I'll love you and leave you. Stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye.